So I just woke up January 3rd, my first day back to work after the holidays, and we got a 2%. Got to fall asleep to a relaxing rain last night. Woke up to relaxing rain this morning, was worried about my sump pump, so not that relaxing till I heard the sump pump running this morning. Still running. Rain's moving out though, and I pulled up the surface chart. I'm like, you know, trying to find out what the temperature is here in Urbana. Uh, Willard Airport not reporting for some reason. So I pulled up the surface map, and the low is just like bombing here over over the Omaha area. So you've got, you know, circulation here. The warm front is draped right across central Illinois. I'm right here. We hit 60 degrees now, you know, mid to upper 50s dues coming in. So the warm front's here. The low is going to track like east, northeast. And along the cold front as it approaches here, we'll probably get a few storms to go up. Um, the thing is, you know, I'm just kind of clicking around, pulling some random soundings. Uh, looks like hodographs. There's the sump pump. Listen. Boom. Seems like hodographs are pretty straight. The other thing I haven't mentioned yet is that I'm picking Sophie up from the airport, Central Illinois Regional Airport in Bloomington at 2.50. Sounds like peak storm time, so I can't really feel that optimistic that I'm going to see something today, but... It's a pretty darn good location when you look at like, we'll pull up the latest her, something like that. All the cams have storm initiation pretty much right here and also pretty much like at Central Illinois Regional Airport. So here's the her, that's an old run I think. Yeah. What do we got now? Okay, that one's barely loaded. We'll try the 10Z her. There you go. So here's, you know, noon, 1 p.m., 2 p.m. This is Champagne. So Champagne's right here, Bloomington's right here. I gotta be here at this time. So like, can I get so lucky? As to like maybe I drive west and just like pick up a storm, watch it for an hour or two, and then pick Sophie up at 250. Can we do it? Am I going to see both the storm and my wife on this, the third day of 2023? Before I fly to Denver tomorrow for a potato expo. We'll see. I don't know. It's a fun little setup. It's honestly I've been noticing it for a couple days. I was like, you know what? The whole morning rain moves out and the surface low just spins over central Illinois. We get that nice little triple point. Could be a rotating storm. Can I see it before 250? I wouldn't see anything before 250. Both storm initiation and Sophie's flight were delayed into the mid-afternoon. So I'm just sitting at Central Illinois Regional Airport in Bloomington watching convection on January 3rd and waiting for Sophie's jet to land over my head. There's a helicopter there and another jet getting ready to take off. Second to weather, aviation's always been my other love. I was more than content to sit here and watch building cumulus clouds and air traffic at the airport. So the towers you're seeing erupting here are the soon-to-be tornadic supercell that would produce a family of weak tornadoes near Interstate 72. Right as Sophie's jet comes into view, thunderstorms are beginning to establish themselves to our south. 
went into the airport to greet Sophie and help haul her luggage to the car. When we got back to the car, I pulled up the radar to see a tornado-warned supercell that was already producing tornadoes 30 miles to our south. The supercell would cross the path of our route home down Interstate 74. That could be fun, said Sophie, and we plotted a course. Tornado-warned supercell off to the south here of Farmer City. It's going from left to right, I promise. Absolutely, we've got a handful of storms here that have began, begun to rotate and even produced a couple of tornadoes earlier near Iliopolis. A few confirmed tornadoes and that storm has continued off to the north and to the east. Right now it's situated just to the north of Weldon. That's going to be just south of Farmer City and Leroy along Highway uh, Interstate 74. Excuse me, and uh, I'm actually looking at that storm right now and uh, you can see the entire uh, you know, updraft of that storm rotating. There is a wall cloud on it. There's no tornado occurring at the moment, but that storm is rotating on radar. That's why the National Weather Service has that tornado warning in effect. Again, I can get the text on that one. This one expires in 11 minutes. This one for central DeWitt County in central Illinois. It's in effect until 5.15 p.m. <clears throat> this is uh, 4.39 p.m. A confirmed tornado was located over Moroa or near Clinton, moving northeast at 25 miles per hour. And again, that's the storm that right now is uh, impacting DeWitt, just north of Weldon. It's gonna pass north of DeLand. Farmer City, you are the ones who are kind of next in line for this. So if you're in the Farmer City area, uh, you know, be watching off to the southwest, consider heading to shelter. The storm would be in your area in about half an hour. As promised, the following day it was wheels up for snowy Denver, Colorado for Potato Expo 2023. I spoke at Potato Expo in 2020 when it was hosted in Vegas and fell in love. It's a really unique conference, obviously focused on potato farming and loaded with potato food. Like any good meteorologist, I always book a window seat just in case. My flights were delightfully uneventful, but as we approached Chicago, I caught a vivid pilot's glory out the window. This occurs when a cloud's water droplets scatter sunlight back towards the sun of light, or the sun behind me. You can sometimes make out the shadow of the plane in the center of the halo. While waiting to take off, I also love playing with the flight radar app and snooping on where everyone else is headed while we're all lined up together. Denver. Let's find a cab. <clears throat> I'm actually really annoyed that the video of my cab ride was corrupted because we had a really cool conversation about different weather conditions needed to grow all sorts of crops. Hi, Ronnie. What else are you? How are you doing, sir? Oh, great. How are you? Where are we out? Uh, I'm going to the Gaylord Rockies Convention Center. It's the Gaylord Rockies behind me where the conference is, Potato Expo. Whenever I'm traveling, speaking or whatever, I always pull up um, Google Maps where the hotel is and like look at the surroundings and I got all excited because I saw this like bike trail. It's like that'll be great after a day of travel. Just go for a walk. And then even now I'm like, it's Colorado, man. Shovel everything. Plow it all. I thought for sure this would be plowed. It still feels good. And I still... What else am I going to do? I'll sit in the room plenty. 
after this. Geese. Did make dinner plans with a friend of mine. So I gotta get this walk in if we're gonna do it. What a shot, the moon right over the hotel. Got in yesterday uh, and kind of enjoyed a little snowy walk around the property and then grabbed dinner with Heather Brinkman, who is an old college friend of mine. Her and her husband met for a beer and a, got a little thing, a green pork chili. Pork green chili chili. Whatever, you know what I'm talking about. So now I'm doing what I do. I've got the bones of my presentation. I'm going to real quick just swap out any stale maps for whatever came out last night. I had someone remark at one of my presentations a couple weeks ago, they were like, wow, that stuff you were showing us was like really current. Like one of those maps was from today. I'm like, yeah, that's how we got to do it in weather forecasting. If I'm telling you a weather forecast, you don't want me to give you whatever maps I showed, you know, folks in some other state three three weeks ago, whatever. I'm kind of tired. It's only a one hour time change, but it like messes with me because then I want to stay up an hour later than I should have to. And then I still have to get up at the same hour at home, which is why I wear an analog watch um, that's, st that's set to central time so that wherever I am, I know what time it is at home so that I always get the local forecast out at the right time, 5.30 a.m. But yeah, now we're gonna shift, we're gonna shift into uh, this presentation, um, again, that I, I went through yesterday, but I'm gonna go through again, and just, I can never leave it alone. Like, they want me to give the presentation to them, to the AV person at 8.30 in two and a half hours, and that's, good because otherwise I don't present till like 10 30 and I would just sit here and add to it till like 10 30. Like, oh that would be cool to show. Oh I should show that. Well I can't leave that map out. Anyway I'm drinking the hotel coffee for now but there's a Starbucks in the first floor of the big old hotel convention center and it's not my favorite coffee in the world, but it's consistent, and that's what I like. I, and I really am excited about the expansion of Starbucks across like rural America. I had smaller like, interchanges along the interstate. Because again, like, I'm like not a coffee snob, but I like like my like local, locally roasted whole beans that I grind for you know every morning batch of coffee. Starbucks is fine. It's consistent. I'm not even going to hate on Starbucks. All right. A lot of my mornings look like that dark. Maybe it's better if I do that. Sun's finally coming up. Nice freaking sunrise. Parking lot paradise, as always. I always love the uh, traveling sunrises from the hotel room. So Denver International Airport is right over here. That's like, it's not really the lights of the airport you're seeing, I don't think. I think that's like the rental car agencies that are on the west side here. But yeah, then in the distance, you just got the open Great Plains. 
here comes the sun. The sun is already up at home in Illinois. It's a plane landing over there. All right, back to work. It's 8.30, we're headed down to the AV room to give my slides to the people. And then I'm gonna walk around and check it out. chicken, sirloin, jalapenos, four kinds of cheese in curd form and sauce form and shred form, some green stuff to keep things moving internally, what else, scallions, tomatoes, all the good stuff. There's a potato in there. Time for like a two hour nap. <laughs> I slept terribly last night. Woke up feeling crispy. Gave a pretty good talk. It's honestly better when I'm tired sometimes, so I don't give them the fully amped up, caffeinated version of overexcited Andrew. Enjoyed the potato, the baked potato bar, and now I've got a full stomach and 